Hi and welcome. My name is Scott and in today's video we're going to do an unboxing of the 475 E-Heli from Sirocco Heli. If you're unfamiliar with Sirocco, they're a company that has just started shipping their products into the United States. They're based in Hong Kong and it was started by two gentlemen, Eric Law and Diamond Tai. Both of those guys have been flying helis for many years and they've had the opportunity to fly a variety of helis and what they've learned over the years are things that they like and things that they don't like. What they decided a few years ago was that we can make a better helicopter. So they took their own design ideas, mixed them with the ideas from helicopters that they like, and they created their first product, the 475E for electric helicopter. It's kind of a different size. It's between the 450 and the 500, but it's actually a very, very good size. This particular heli is made for the intermediate to the advanced pilot. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox one of their kits, take a look at the parts that are inside, get you more familiar with the parts and the idea of the 475E, and then talk about some of the quality and the manufacturing of the Sirocco heli. Now I know that there are a lot of guys out there who have never heard of Sirocco heli. I understand that and you're obviously very concerned about putting your money down on an unknown product. So that's why I want to spend a few minutes with you today and show you what's inside the box of the 475E. So first of all what we'll do is we'll open it up. I've already opened part of it and it's shipped in a very very sturdy box. It comes with a hard cardboard top. Once you take that top off it exposes the first layer of the parts. The instruction manual that's included is printed in several colors and as you open it up and you thumb through it you'll see that it's a very very logical design and very logical layout for the assembly of the helicopter. Now each of the steps has a step and a stub step and that's very important because with a lot of helicopters that you buy, when you buy it, you open up the box, you get a few big parts and you get several big plastic bags filled with 212 different parts. You open up the bag and you always run the risk of those parts going all across your workbench and losing them. That's different with the Sirocco branded products and we'll show you that in a couple of minutes. But as you can see, as I mentioned, the manual is laid out in step, steps and stub steps in multicolor, so it's very easy to walk through the assembly process. When you open up the box, this is the first thing that you see. The canopy, the main gear, rotor head, swash, blade, the uh, main rotor blade grips, landing gear, the boom tube, and some of the other longer parts. Now the nice thing that Sirocco has done is they've taken all of their parts, the large parts, and they've put them on cards and they've wire tied them to the cards. So as you're going through the building process, you only remove those parts that you need for that particular step. As I mentioned in the assembly manual, you see the step and the sub-step. All of the parts are coded that same way. And what you see is the part that you need for that step and in many cases we'll see it a little bit later on in some of the other parts they'll actually have a diagram of the part that you need for that step to make it much easier to recognize and use only the parts that you need as you're building that particular step now a couple of things about the quality of the Sirocco products all of the aluminum that they use in the 475E is 7075 7075 billet aluminum. That's a lot more durable, a lot stronger 
than the 6061 aluminum that you see on most other helicopters. It's harder to machine, it's a tougher material, but it's a lot more durable and a lot stronger. So the, the 475 is made to last you quite a long time. The main rotor blade grips are one piece design. Most of the other main grips that you find are two pieces. It's a lot tougher to manufacture a one piece blade grip, but Sirocco is doing it and they're doing it with a 7075. These are really strong blade grips. Inside the box, there's a small bag with the battery straps and the main blade holder. And there's a bat box. That's inside with a lot of the smaller parts. Again, what you'll find is that these parts are laid out in cards with the step and the sub-step and all of the parts are wire tied to the cards. You're not going to be missing pieces because if there's a hole here, they're not going to fill that, that card. The main frame on the 475 is made of 1.5 millimeter carbon fiber, very high quality, and it's a stacked frame design. You see there's several pieces that go into the frame. The center, the rear, and the front portion. We'll show you on the built-up model here. There's a front piece, the center hub, and then the rear piece for the tail boom. The tail boom is a lot longer. They've extended the carbon fiber on the rear tail boom to be able to support different size tail booms. And we'll talk about that in just a couple of minutes, one of the very unique aspects of the 475. But again, it uses 1.5 millimeter high quality carbon fiber on the frames. The 475 is belt driven as opposed to torque tube driven. The anti-rotation bearing is made in Germany, very, very high quality. Again, they're using 7075 aluminum. Where they're using steel, it's a high quality uh, stainless steel that's being used. Smaller parts again, again, they're all wire tied to the card. For the much smaller parts, they put them in bags, and each of the bags is sealed to prevent any loss of the product. Each bag has a card in it, again with the assembly step and the assembly sub-step, and the card actually has a picture of the parts that are being used in that step. They're all sealed so that you only open up the cards that you'll be using in that particular step. A couple of other things that I wanted to point out on the 475 is the tail boom is octagonally shaped. It's not round. That holds the tail servo in place a lot more strongly and it prevents the tail servo from torquing as you're moving your tail. So one of the unique aspects of the 475E is that it can be changed from the 475 with a conversion kit it can be scaled down to a 425 size helicopter or all the way up to a 550. Sirocco offers two conversion kits, both with different size booms, a shorter for the 425, the longer for the 550. The conversion kits come with the appropriate size tail belt that you need. So if you want to basically have three helicopters for the price of one, you can buy your 475 and the conversion kits, take out your tail boom, insert the new tail boom and you've got a different size helicopter. This is a really, really innovative idea and it makes the helicopter very cost effective for pilots who want to experiment in different sizes. You don't have to go out and buy an entirely new helicopter. You don't have to replace the servos, the motor, the ESC, the gyro. 
All you need to do is buy the conversion kit, insert the different size tube in the tail belt, and you're ready to go. The Sirocco 475 Heli is currently available in the United States at www.sirocco-heli-usa.com. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. See you next time. Thank you.